So let's talk about next generation Xbox console and Xbox Series X Pro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So let's talk about next generation Xbox console first, because we've got some interesting information regarding potential release date for this console launch date. Now, this information is a courtesy of the FTC, or should I really say that court case and some of the documentation that actually leaked out uh, recently, actually quite a lot of stuff leaked out uh, recently. Um, so we uh, actually have learned quite a lot about all the, you know, backdoor uh, behind the scenes kind of doing of these corporations. But going back to the subject, uh, main subject here, so next generation Xbox console, and I'm talking about like this proper next gen console, so the next generation console, uh, looks like we may actually get uh, a new Xbox, uh, brand new Xbox around 2028. So this is according to some documents suggesting that this is where the next generation will start. Now obviously this may still get delayed because you know it's, it's way too early to actually um, you know say for sure Things may change, you know, who knows, right? But um, looks like we should, well, I think we shouldn't expect a next-gen console. And I think that will that's true for both Xbox and PlayStation before that date, before 2028. So 2028, 2029 is kind of like, I would say, that the time window where we, we will probably get these consoles. Which actually is interesting because, um, I mean, first off, we know that Xbox is working on a new console. They already confirmed that. They did say a number of times that, yes, there will be another Xbox. Um, so that kind of makes sense. So um, I'm not sure if this is still going to be like a proper next generation console, but I would imagine so. Because uh, even though they don't necessarily talk about generations anymore and everything is kind of like... Um, you know, blurred out when it comes to these next gen, next generations and generations overall. Um, because <laughs> like this, this generation, you know, had a very a slow start because like there was so many uh, cross, cross gen titles that it's just crazy. But uh, we are finally moving into like this proper, this generation um, uh, uh, period you know, of stuff. Um, so we know that these consoles are coming and but it looks like this generation is going to be quite long too because like 2028 2029 so let's imagine 2028 right let's just take that date that's like eight years so that's i think that may be the uh, potentially that may be the longest generation i uh, i think it's going to be even longer than the previous one which was long pretty long anyway because uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 launched back in 2013 and the next-gen consoles, uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series consoles launched uh, in 2020. So we're talking about seven years. So now we are moving into eight years generation. So now what's going to happen? So now, now let's talk about Xbox Series X Pro and PlayStation 5 Pro because people say, oh, we don't need them. And... I mean, maybe, maybe we don't. Like, maybe some people don't. I mean, I'm sure that most people don't. Now, the real question is, are we going to be, will developers be able to still make, you know, good games for these consoles like eight years from now? Uh, because, you know, you, you still, we need to think about not only this generation per se, but also what's going to be happening shortly after uh, next-gen consoles launch, because like, look what happened this generation. Uh, I mean, last generation, well, this and last generation, the whole cross-gen uh, period, right? Uh, these consoles, Xbox Series S, X, these consoles will, will have to serve uh, co consumers way up beyond 2028 and 2029, probably for next two, three years. So developers will, you know, there, there's probably going to be this cross-gen uh, period too, like probably two years, around two years. So we're talking about a console that will have to, well, deliver goods, deliver good performance in games until like really end of this decade, decade. So 2020, uh, sorry, 2030, 2031, something like that. So uh, will these consoles be 
capable of doing that? Will the performance be great? Um, you know, probably not towards the end of the of this generation. So that's where the whole Xbox Series X Pro or PlayStation 5 Pro talk comes in. Um, the only problem with that is that, you know, um, there's there's been quite a lot of talk about PlayStation 5 Pro lately, uh, mainly due to Tem, T uh, Tom Henderson leaks. Um, you know, the guy is actually right a lot of times. He did leak that PlayStation handheld, uh, streaming handheld. Uh, he did leak the airbag, uh, air, air, uh, earbag, ear, ear, ear stuff, um, earplugs, sorry, uh, bugs, bugs, no, uh, anyway, um, you know, the audio stuff, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, ear, earbuds, oh, Jesus Christ, anyway, so, um, I think that's how that, that's how you call it, right? Earbuds, earbugs, earplugs. I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So he he was right a lot of times uh, when it comes to like hardware, PlayStation hardware too, and he's saying that PlayStation is planning a PlayStation Five Pro. Uh, well, next year, really, next year. So that's 2024. Now the real question is what. Uh, Microsoft going to do about it you know you would imagine that they would react to it and they would release their console I mean possible now the real question is how expensive these consoles would be have to be because looks like the you know the problem right now we are having is that production of these chips is getting more expensive and also more complicated which obviously raises the prices and uh, so technology is not cheap and also the improvements over like these different like generations of chips they are not that great anymore so we used to we, i mean like going from uh, for example in terms of like playstation 4 and playstation 4 pro or xbox one and xbox one x uh, going from uh, 14 nanometers to hold on no Going from 28 nanometers to for PlayStation 4 to 14 nanometers for PlayStation 4 Pro, that did bring pretty much double the performance at the same size chip, right? Because that's very important to keep the size of the chip pretty low, small. So around 400 mil, uh, you know, uh, millimeters, something like that. Uh, so you know, the the fact of the matter is that like. We're not really going to be getting that kind of improvements, like double the uh, in, in coming uh, months, I mean, years, really, when it comes to these uh, production processes, like going from seven to five, it's like, you know, 25, maybe 30 percent improvement uh, at the same chip in terms of performance um, or power saving, however you want to look at it, uh, going from, you know, additional you, you get additional maybe 20% going to 3 nanometers. So that's like 50% going from 7 nanometers that, you know, these consoles... Actually, PlayStation 5 is already on 6 nanometers. Actually, that's actually interesting, right? Um, so, you know, like the there's not going to be, you know, huge improvements in terms of these chips. So in order to deliver like double the performance, they would ha they will have to make the chips bigger and more expensive so now now the real question is how much will these chips cost um you know probably way more than 500 right i mean playstation 5 and xbox series x already uh cost 550 so yeah imagine you know these consoles will probably have to cost around 700 dollars if not more now i would be fine with paying that money but uh, probably, you know, not everyone will go ahead and do this. But at the end of the day, it's going. It's these type of consoles, these type of uh, tech is for enthusiasts rather than just like regular uh, faults. I mean, a lot of people are just totally fine with Xbox uh, Series S. Um, you know, that's not a console for me. I'm not really a big fan of this console per se and its performance and whatever, right? I understand why Microsoft did that, uh, but, you know, that's not a console for me. But, you know, a lot of people don't care. I mean, my son uses Xbox City, says he's happy with it. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's... it's, it's even if these consoles uh, uh, arrive, 
I mean, I think they will be expensive, very expensive. So, you know, uh, mainly due to the technology, not necessarily uh, these corporations. They will have to lose some money on it anyway, in my opinion. But anyway, guys, so that's my thoughts on it. So next generation consoles are going to arrive around 2028, 2029. Uh, Xbox Series uh, uh, X Pro and PlayStation 5 Pro maybe next year playstation 5 pro xbox series x pro if if that happens probably a year later because i don't think microsoft is wants to be first it may be a situation very very, sim, very, very similar to xbox one x where it launched a year after playstation 4 pro but hey we'll see how that goes so thanks guys for support uh hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next one take care